Hey Florida Travelers, Cressa here, and if you're planning a day trip to Clearwater Beach, in this video I'm going to go over a few places that you'll definitely want to check out while you're there. Let's get into it. Clearwater Beach is one of my favorite beaches in Central Florida, and if you are thinking about going, it's about an hour and a half from the major attractions in Orlando, and only a short 30 minute drive if you are visiting Tampa. First stop, one of my first places that I do want to tell you about is my favorite place to park, which is Pier 60. Not only is Pier 60 pretty centrally located, it also has all of these conveniences that you'll want for a trip to the beach, such as a playground for the kids, bathrooms that are open 24 hours a day, all of these inflatable slides and attractions, an ice cream shop, and last but not least is of course this awesome pier that stretches out over a thousand feet into the Gulf. There is a bait shop down here where you are able to buy fishing bait if you do want to go fishing, as well as rent gear if you didn't bring any of your own. You do not need a license to fish off of the pier and it only costs a dollar to walk down to the end of it. If you stick around until sunset, you'll be able to enjoy Sunset at Clearwater Beach, which is this nightly event where they have a number of artists, musicians, and vendors that head to the pier to entertain you. Another great thing about heading to Pier 60 is that they have quite a number of lounge chairs and cabanas that you can rent for the day if you do want a bit of shade, if you didn't bring your own umbrella and chairs. The chairs with the umbrella here at Pier 60 are $30 for the day if you do rent them before 3 p.m. and the cabanas with the chairs are $40. The prices do go down to half price if you are able to wait until after 3 p.m. So if you want to rent a cabana but also want to save a bit of money, you'll just have to wait a little bit longer in the day. If you do want to rent an umbrella or cabana for the day, all you have to do is find the location that you like and claim it. Their employees come around often to collect payment. Once you've soaked in enough Florida sun and are looking for a great seafood restaurant nearby, you'll want to check out Krabby's Dockside. It is just across the street from Pier 60 and is a three-story restaurant that gives you these amazing views of the beach while you enjoy your lunch. If you're not looking for a sit-down restaurant, there are quite a number of other small cafes and restaurants that are sprinkled throughout the area especially down Mandalay Avenue, which is the next area that I want to tell you about. Mandalay Avenue runs parallel to the beach and is stuffed with a number of different shops, restaurants, and cafes. If you want to get out of the sun and spend a few hours getting in some retail therapy, this is the area that you'll want to be. There are a number of different beach, surf, and souvenir shops, and one of which is famously owned by Hulk Hogan himself, which you can easily find by finding the statue of him on the the sidewalk along Mandalay Avenue. With so many shops to choose from, I'm sure that you won't have any trouble finding something for everybody that you're looking for. If you do have some time to spare and you do want to head out into the water, you want to head to the dockside and check out the day cruises. There are quite a number of them to choose from, all of which have a unique feature and experience to them. One of the most popular is going to be the Sea Screamer, which is the world's largest speedboat, as well as the pirate ship, both of which I'll have to feature in a future video. Last but definitely not least on my list is Clearwater Marine Aquarium. If you're a fan of the movie Dolphin Tail, then you're probably familiar with the famous Dolphin Winter, who is a permanent resident of Clearwater Marine Aquarium. But this aquarium is so much more than just dolphins. This nonprofit aquarium is dedicated to their mission of rescue, rehabilitation, and release, which they do on a regular basis. If you want to check out a more in-depth look at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, I did do a full video, which I'll plug up at the top right now. 
If you want to visit the beach and Clearwater Marine Aquarium in the same day, I highly recommend visiting the beach first and then spending the afternoon at the aquarium. Arriving at the beach in the morning not only allows you to enjoy the cooler hours of the beach but still get the sun, you will also won't have as much trouble hunting down a parking spot since most people will head to the beach in the afternoon. Clearwater Beach is one of my favorite beaches in Central Florida. Not only does it have this beautiful white sand and amazing view, the waves are not as strong on this side of Florida, which makes it a little bit easier for the little ones. If you found this information helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help my channel to be seen by more interested viewers like yourself. If you want to take a look at another attraction in Clearwater, make sure to check out my overview on the Clearwater Marine Aquarium that just popped up on the screen. Until next time everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.